fam. Today, I got another video for you guys of my how to prepare for a marathon series. Today's topic is a question a lot of you may have at home, and it has to do with tapering and pain. Have you ever noticed that when you taper for a race, specifically the marathon, that you tend to feel more pain, more niggles and naggles than you have before, and it drives you nuts and you're worried if you're hurt or not? So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the theories on why I think that happens and how to overcome them to an extent. Now, quick disclaimer, obviously get cleared by your qualified healthcare provider before following this stuff uh, because the pains you feel may not be, you know, taper pains. It may be something more serious. So get checked out. All right, so aches and pains while tapering for your marathon. Now, I know it may be driving you crazy, but you gotta ask yourself, why do you taper? You're tapering to achieve a greater level of fitness by the time race day comes. You're trying to super compensate to give your body the energy it needs to run 26.2 miles out on the roads. During this time or preparing for the marathon in this short period can be emotionally, physically, and mentally exhausting, which can portray to the amount of pain you feel. Toxins, trauma, and thoughts are the three types of pains that your body feels. Toxins, such as an example, would be like lactic acid buildup. Trauma would be like car accident, knock on wood, or uh, pain from running. And thoughts would be like psychosomatic pain, where you know you've been in pain for so long, or maybe something traumatic happened that, or you know, something super stressful is causing you to experience or manifest as pain. Now, here are my theories on the subject of why I think breakthrough pain happens. And then after this, we're gonna talk about ways to potentially maybe mitigate why you have phantom pains or taper pains but for the most part they're nothing to really worry about it's part of training it's part of tapering but remember get checked one theory i have is uh, breakthrough pain so usually with running you max out at about 30 minutes or so of normal endorphin and kefalin production the stuff that makes you feel good you know the runner's high right is what you're feeling all the time and those compounds can help mask pain help lower your pain threshold so you can run more, right? So in theory, if you're running less, your body's putting out less of those endorphins and enkephalins, thus you're going to experience more pain. Another theory I have is the idea of eating more carbohydrate leading up. Maybe you're eating more processed carbohydrates, you know, uh, white breads, sugar, stuff like that, that's causing you to feel more pain uh, those quick sugars tend to be inflammatory in nature. So that could be one reason why you're feeling more pain all of a sudden. Another theory I have is an increase in fluid retention. So while you are, you know, glycogen loading throughout the week, which I talk about in my marathon taper plan, as you store more carbohydrate as glycogen, you store water with it. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water when you're carb loading throughout the week. But because of the fluid retention, it may be something you're not used to. It is not uncommon for people to feel bloated and uncomfortable during this week leading up to the marathon. It's like sitting on an airplane for a really long time, right? You didn't really hurt yourself or anything. It's just that blood kind of pools. Fluid pools in the legs and irritates those nerves. So you start developing pains or phantom pains. The concept of anxiety, fear, you know, getting ready for this marathon can also cause pain to manifest itself. Over excitation of nerves, right? You may also start to feel old injuries, you know, scar tissue pop back up or pains from those areas start to hurt. And that has to do with uh, fibroblastic, you know, there's these cells called fibroblasts that kind of like intertwine with the nerves when they're trying to repair the area and those nerves get entrapped. The combination of fear, anxiety, you know, stress cause those nerves to overexcite. And so you start to feel pain in those old areas of where you should have chronic injuries. So that's another reason why I think people can manifest as pain in those areas during their taper period. But this does not necessarily mean it's getting re-injured. It's just your body, your brain is manifesting that pain as psychosomatic pain. So there are some things you can do the counter. It may sound pretty basic or pretty cliche, but like I said, this is a normal part of a marathon taper. Relax. You did everything you could. Trust the process. You made it this far. Nothing to really worry about, but like I said, get checked. It may be something a little more serious, especially if you actually hurt yourself. Um, it is possible to be in denial <laughs> during this phase leading up to the marathon. Make sure you are managing your stress, sleeping well, and eating well, and you should get through this taper period ready to total line, ready to run a PR. If you guys like this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already for more content like this. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell when I post my next video. Catch you guys next time. Peace.